G'day Ice Cream Lovers, my name's Steve Christensen, the ice cream bloke and self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School. And I can't tell you how good it is to get back in the lab. If you've been following our Scoop School shows and episodes, we've basically been traveling all around the world, but we're back here at our Scoop School headquarters here in, in uh, I was about to say Salt Lake City for some reason, St. Louis, Missouri. And Easter is fast approaching upon us. So I thought I'd take one of these very easy, inexpensive, uh, egg molds. I bought this from Walmart for about three dollars sixty, and we're going to make some Easter egg treats, Easter egg ice cream novelties. Uh, just very simple ones to show you how easy it is with the right tools and with the right coatings. And we're going to do it for you on this episode of the Scoop School Show. Well, ice cream lovers, it all starts here with our ice cream base. Now, one thing you'll need to know when you're working with molds, whether it be a silicon mold or any other mold, is that you really do need to have a softer product to go into the mold. So filling a mold with freshly extracted premium ice cream like we're using today on this little Taylor unit or a soft serve or a custom machine is really the right way to go. Now again, this is a silicon mold that we bought from Walmart. It was just a couple of dollars, really. You'll want to make sure that it is clean and dry. You don't want it to be wet, particularly after you've just washed it. And what you'll want to do is take your softer ice cream, either a premium, custard, or soft serve, and just gently push the product into the bottom of the mold. You don't want to push air out of it, so you still need to be somewhat careful, but you do want to make sure that you don't have any holes or crevices that aren't filled properly because you won't get a good clean image on the other side. Look at that, ready to go. Now here's the beauty of having a blast freezer. We have a smaller blast freezer, and I can just pop this in here, and literally within 10 or 15 minutes, these guys are ready to come out. A blast freezer is almost like a convection oven for a freezer. It has a fan in there that is blowing cold air around the product. Nice and firm now, we can take it back over to the table and pull them out of the molds. Now, not really knowing what I was going to say in the overlay here, I do some crazy hand actions and point to things, but basically, here's the thing. You don't want to over-freeze them. You can get freezer burn on uncovered popsicles or novelties. Now, look at that nice, crisp outline there of the product. That is because we took time to make sure that the ice cream was soft enough, and then we massaged that right into the bottom of that mold. So simply it's a matter then of just popping the rest of them out of the molds and then we're ready to start decorating. Now once you've popped all of the products out of the molds, again time is of the essence here. You don't want to keep these products sitting out in the ambient air temperature. Quick check of the mold to make sure that we don't have any residue left in there. All seems to be in good order. So now we get to the point where we start decorating our products. And today we're using a popsicle mold or a popsicle covering from Pregel. There's a lot of great flavor companies that make these popsicle covers. Pregel does an outstanding job. So we're going to show you a couple of different products that they have. Now because these molds didn't have a stick placement in them, we're going to just pop a skewer into them and dip them into our hard shell coating. We'll start with the chocolate. Chocolate tends to be a little bit more thin than the others. I've got a few varieties here to show you what is available from these different companies. Now, you wanna make sure that the cone coating has stopped dripping. Just rotate it around to make sure you don't get any big globs on there and simply place it back on the tray. We have parchment paper on the tray to stop them from sticking. Now this is the strawberry coating. It's a little bit thicker, and also it actually has strawberry seeds in it, so it gives the customer a really good visual aspect, as well as being very tasty as well. Thicker product means that I can actually coat it with other products and have them stick there nice and firmly. Now this guy here is one of my favorites. This is a hazelnut cone dip that actually has chunks of hazelnut in it. Because it's got a nut oil in it, it does not need to be heated. It's liquid as you open up the uh, container, and it gives a great looking product with some texture, with some color, really fantastic stuff. 
Now, for those of you who have been following me for a little while, you'll know that I love squeeze bottles and I love hard shell. And this is a classic combination of the two. So just some basic decorations over the plainer eggs. I'll even put them over the coated ones just to give them a little bit of difference. Looks fantastic. Now, some of these coatings do need to be heated or at least be at room temperature. So you should really put these back into the blast freezer for at least 10, 15 minutes or so, just to get these products nice and firm before you package them up. Now have a look at these little fellas. Any Easter Bunny would be proud to have these in their basket, distributing to the children all over the world, maybe some adults as well. So once these are nice and firm in our blast freezer, we take them back over to our prep area. And this is where we basically clean them up a little bit. Use a flat spatula to bring them up off the parchment paper. And then you'll just be chipping off some of the residue here of the eggs. You can use that uh, with your hands and simply break them off. Or you can use the spatula here and just tap them off. They'll fall off relatively easily. Now you have a few different packaging options here. The most preferable I think is to put them in a clamshell type container, maybe two, three or four to a pack so the families can take them with them or take them to an event. Alternatively, you can single serve them as well. Now look, if you have a little bit more artistic flair than me, you might want to put a little dressing behind it, a little bit of the shredded green to look like the Easter Bunnies just dropped these off. But regardless of how it looks, whether it's in a clamshell container as a multiple or single serve, these items are very, very simple and they look fantastic. So there you go, ice cream lovers, a very simple way to bring a little bit of the Easter spirit to your business and to your customers. If you'd like more details on this, a lot of the details will be down below, including the link to the pre-gel coatings, uh, where you can go and look at them online. A lot of different companies make them. We like using the pre-gel ones, very, very top quality. Look, from everybody here at our Scoop School facility, the janitors, the relief teachers, the lawn mowers, the teaching staff, and from your self-appointed headmaster, we do wish you a very happy Easter. I am a big fan of the, uh, of the uh, strawberry. They call it la fragola in uh, Italy. So anyway, oh, you can't tell me that's not one of the best things you'll probably eat this coming Easter. Woohoo! Makes me want to hop all over the place. Anyway, enough of that. Keep on scooping folks. Thanks for joining us. Again, happy Easter and we'll see you in the next video.